Hey guys, welcome back. And this is me, Tarun, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of Tanjavur. According to legends, Tanjavur derives its name from Tanjan, an Asura in Hinduism, was killed in Tanjavur by Nila Mega Perumal, a form of Lord Vishnu. When you combine the three Tamil words, which is Tan, which means cold, Che, which means farmland, and Ur, which means city, we get the word Tanjayur, which means city surrounded by coal farmlands. This place was later known as Tanjavur. The Cholas came to prominence through Vijay Alia in 850. He conquered Tanjavur from the Mutraya king Alango Mutraya and built a temple dedicated to Nisimba Sudhani. His son Aditya the first consolidated the hold over the city. Gradually, Tanjavur became one of the most important cities of the Cholas and was the capital till the emergence of Ganga Kunda Cholapuram. Raja Raja the first constructed the Brihadishna temple at Tanjavur. When the Chola Empire began to decline in the 13th century, the Pandyans invaded and captured Tanjavur in 1218 to 19 and 1230. During the second invasion, the Chola king Rajaraja III was sent in exile and he sought help of the Hoysala king Viranarasimha II to regain Tanjavur. Tanjavur was eventually annexed to the, along with the rest of the Chola kingdom by the Pandyan king Maravarma Kulashekara uh, Pandyan the first in 1279. The Pandyans ruled Tanjavur from 1279 to 1311. The Pandyan regime was short-lived. When the Pandyan kingdom was in civil war, the Muslim ruler, allowing Kalchi of the Sultanate of Delhi, took advantage of it and was raided and annexed by the forces of Malik Kafur and the Delhi Sultanate. Tanjavur then came under the Muslim rulers. The Sultanate extended its authority directly over the conquered regions from 1311 to 1335 and then through the semi-independent Malabar Sultanate from 1335 to 1378. Starting from the 1530s, the Malabar Sultanate was steadily absorbed into the rising Vijayanagar Empire. Tanjavur remained under the supremacy of the Vijayanagar Empire for a long period. Tanjavur is believed to have been conquered by Kampana Udayar during his invasion of Sri Rangam between 1365 and 1371. Seva Panayak, the Vijayanagar Viceroy of Arkot, established himself as an independent monarch and founded the Tanjavur Nayak Kingdom. You, in, in the end of this episode, you'll know why this map says Tanjavur. Tanjavur Nayaks were notable for their patronage of literature and arts. The Nayaks of Tanjavur were loyal to the Vijayanagar after the Battle of Talikota and helped Vijayanagar in resisting the attacks of the Nayak of Madurai and their temporary ally Golconda. But the beginning of the 17th century was the end of the Vijayanagar Empire. In 1673, Tanjavur fell to the Madurai king Chokkanatha Nayak. Tanjavur was successfully conquered in 1674 by Ikoji I, the Maratha feudatory of. Uh, the Nawab of Bijapur and half brother to Shivaji Maharaj. Ikoji founded the Tanjavur Maratha Kingdom, which ruled Tanjavur till 1855. The Marathas exercised their sovereignty over Tanjavur during the last quarter of the 17th century and the whole of the 18th century.
There were hostilities between the Nawab of Arcot and the Maratha ruler of Tanjavur. The French and the English also began interfering in the internal affairs of South India and later supremacy of the English was later established. The Maratha rulers patronized Carnatic music. In 1787, Amasang, the region of Tanjavur, deposed the minor uh, Raja, his nephew Sahoji II, and captured the throne. Sahoji II was re- restored in 1799 with the assistance of the British. A pact was signed between the Maratha ruler and the English by the which the status of the Raja was reduced to a mere vassal. The Maratha Kingdom of Tanjavur was eventually absorbed into British India in 1855 by the Doctrine of Lax by Lord Dalhousie, which stated like, after the ruler dies and if he does not have a biological male heir, the territory or kingdom or empire would cede to the British. So. The situation for Tanjavur was when Shivaji II, the last Maratha ruler of Tanjavur, died without a biological male head. And that's when it was absorbed into the British India. The British referred to Tanjavur as Tanjore in their records, and that's one of the reasons that in that map you had seen Tanjore. Five years later, the British replaced Nagapatnam, uh, modern day Nagapatnam, with Tanjavur as the seat of the district administration. Under the British, Tanjavur emerged as an important regional center. The 1871 census of British India recorded a population of 52. 1,171 making Tanjubur the third largest city in the Madras presidency. After independence of India, it continued as district headquarters. Well, that's it for now and thank you for watching and see you guys next time.